Right, now then. Just looking at the alignments. Yeah, so... Better check I've unlocked the, the fencing before I get myself too worked up about placing it. Yes, I have. Right. So we'll, we'll leave that at about halfway for getting through there. Put that there. Bring it out to here. And we want to be past the edge of the field. Not too far. So, there. Yep. Yeah. And we want to put that one in there. Wonder, whoops. And where's the edge of the dug area? There's the edge of the dug area there. So if we bring that to there, then take that down here and get that on a due north-south alignment. Look at how we're going to take it across to there. So we want to bring that. We're going on a due north-south alignment. Run it to there. Like that. And then take this one across here. We want to stop it before the building on an east-west alignment. We want to leave ourselves space for ourselves or the NPCs to get through. Like that. I think. Have we got our back against the wall? We have. So if we put it like that there, I think that will do the job. Enough space to get through there? Yeah, it should. Well, there is for me. I don't know about for them is the problem. There is enough for them here, though. So, do that. Get number eight out. Don't know if we've got enough sticks, but we'll see how far we can get. easy to find. Let's just pick these few up before we go around the corner. sticks in a second. I'm going to have to go around picking up some more. And as I said, at least they're easy to find. There's loads of them around. Um, Stop. Two more 
there, look. bushes are empty. Of course they are, because it's autumn. You only get berries on them in the spring and summer. Come on guys, wake up. we can get done. Oh, didn't see all that St. John's there. Let's just grab all of that. Sell that. Five more sticks to finish that fence. But we're going to need a bunch more sticks for other stuff, so we'll grab them. Is that the good mushroom or the bad mushroom? I can't remember. We'll leave it there for now. that. bunch of materials. Put that hammer away. Pick up a bunch of materials for making um, skinning knives. We're going to need them for selling. And we're into the lazy dog days of autumn. Very similar to the lazy dog days of summer. They actually overlap with each other. Just that once it's autumn rather than summer, it starts to feel like the year's winding down, so... Nice lazy activities that don't require frantic activity or the order of the day. Although we are going to have to run up to Hornaker, get ourselves a scythe and what have you. So, uh, what was it we wanted? We wanted a 
scythe and oh I can't remember now scythe and pickaxe that's right we're gonna need to make some more cash because we need about a thousand to pay for them and the way that we're gonna have to do that is making things to sell things that we can make by hand like the skinning knives oh that them's good mushrooms I remember them once that's not that's a fly agaric that's poisonous I'm preparing for the winter as well because during the winter there's not much we can get done but if we've got masses and, and masses of materials collected we're making things and we're getting seriously overweight now seeing many stones at all up here. Might have to go to a different part of the map to get a big collection of stones. Oh, get me down to those few stones. it we can't move <laughs> right let's get a bunch of them made I'll reduce our weight and I think what's holding us back there is the number of stones rather than the number of sticks we'll find out once it's made this bunch sticks and one rock. So we need two sticks. No, put that away. Two sticks. Um, and then we want... Whoa, put that away. Please, put that away. Uh, 30 sticks makes six skinning knives. Means we need 12 rocks. We've got one. We need another 11. Put that hammer away. Now we're not going to find the, st the stones in the dark, I don't believe. And what we could do is pick up all the sticks that we can see. And we can prepare a stockpile ready for the winter. Because in the winter, when the snow's on the ground, it's much easier to find the, the rocks. And we also don't want to be wandering very far away in the winter at all. Oh, 
there's a stack, a rock. And any rocks we can find right now will help us to make a bit more money for going up the road. Now, if I just use my eagle vision, have we got any... No, I thought all the feathers would have been purged off the map. Yeah, they were. Calling it Eagle Vision. That's Assassin's Creed, isn't it? I think they are. And of course, we've got all those berries to sell as well. So we'll have to have a run into town in the morning, I think. We'll take in what we've crafted. stand here and craft up whatever else we can because we left sticks and thatch there look so let's have a look yeah we should be able to get a few done of the sticks there. Put them mushrooms in here. berries we'll take into town with the, um, the stone knives. We've only made 16 stone knives but we need to get cash for getting that scythe because we need the scythe as soon as spring lands on us. Um, 16. Oh, rock 13. Oh, we need some of those sticks out of the barn then. sticks go get a drink and we'll make some food oh look at that how's that for a, a piece of art <laughs> just come back here and look at it through the house get the hood off. I 
page. Stunning. Truly stunning. Right. Let's get a drink. some food. Right, meat. We've only got three meat. Three cabbages. I'm not sure if we can make it with dried meat or not. We'll have to check the recipe when we do the cooking here. Um, that's salted meat. Yeah, we can't use dried meat, only salted meat. Okay. Thirty. Well, if we eat two of them, pushes us up quite high. And if we put the other one in the chest as a an emergency. Let's go check that rabbit trap. See if we got another rabbit in it. Not yet. Okay. So we're going to have to do a proper meat hunt tomorrow as part as part of what we're doing right let's uh, we're fed we're watered let's have a proper sleep there we are wakey wakey good morning looks like another beautiful autumn day out there oh it does indeed let's get that let's get that screenshot without the hood let's just pull it back to the house there. There we are. And we can probably ought to do it. Uh, I actually quite like it with the shadows on the ground. Like that. Get that in fact if we can get that signpost centered. like that right we're fed we're watered let's get those berries we've got the um, cooking uh, the skinning knives on us let's go get some money so take all of those and all of those Make sure we don't have anything on us that we shouldn't have. I've got the wooden hammer on us. Get rid of that. That's the only thing to, to leave behind. And we should be able to collect some uh, mushrooms on the way. How much weight have we got? And we can get up to three kilos of mushrooms, which will help to make a bit more money. Because we need 600-ish 
to get the scythe. We need another 440 to get the pickaxe. And stones. If we had sticks, we could make more knives. Um... So that's over a thousand for those two items. Um, before we spend that sort of money in the second half of the year, then we want to be sure that we've got at least double that amount so that we can cover taxes in the spring. Shrooms. Just the one. Are you kidding me? Somebody been along here picking mushrooms ahead of me. But it was that bloody Oz lion. Absolutely gorgeous day. Hello you, are you in a better mood today? Um, let's get a bit of approval. Uh, get the nice weather boost, yes. You got a minute? Got in a, oh, 96%, she's not going to give us the 100. Um, Perfection plus five. Um, cannot help but compliment your shapely figure. Mm. Let's say this one. I know she likes that one. Right, so that gives us a plus two. So approval 96, affection 22. Okay. Right. Uh, is money bags in the tavern? She is. Hello, money bags. Uh, approval 48. It's a bit low. Let's see if we can get it up. Um, oh, she doesn't like hunting. Oh, okay, show me your wares. Um, sell all of those. And sell all of those, and all of those, and uh, might as well sell that one. That's boosted us up to a thousand, but we do need to go get meat today, uh, meat for ourselves. Who are you? Bernadetta. I can't remember who you are. Age 53. Oh, you're getting quite old. Um, how have you been? I'm fine. Okay, I'll go. You're going to be grumpy. Um, who are you? Damn rocker. I think you're married, aren't you? Um, nice weather. Approval plus five. Uh, Here it is, okay. Uh, stay out of your way. Ferdinand, uh, age 26.50. Okay. Uh, Wallabites, approval 50. Oh, he's only 17. I'll go now. Alright, it's a wrap. Adelina. Oh, that's right, you are a seller. Let's see if we can get some approval off you. Any hunting? No. Okay. Um, tell me your wares, what are you selling? Carrot seed, onion seed, rice seed, wheat grain. Now, providing we don't get any crop failures, we don't need to ever buy any of those again. Now 
we've got to build a hunting lodge. Um, want the hun hunting lodge a little bit closer to home, but we don't want it right next to home itself. It needs to be out in the woods a little bit. But we is going after boar. Possibly deer. How many spears have we got available to us? Five. Two of them are ready to break, so we're going to need to take down that pine tree. Make another three. Should have got a drink before we came up here. Our hydration's getting a bit low. Never mind. Uh, and in fact, we should save before we do anything up here. all three boars. I'm not sure if killing um, foxes and boars before we build the hunting lodge will count towards that objective or not. I'm hoping it will. But if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's all XP. And normally the boars are over here somewhere. Normally like to hang around here. There we go. Oh, two of you. That's naughty. Especially when you come in sneaky like that. That's what you get for being sneaky. They nearly had me. If the third one had turned up, they could have had me. Especially if he came from behind me. Because he could have blocked my movement. Right. How many spears did we end up with there now? Four. I thought so. We lost a few in that fight. Blood everywhere, look. Jesus. <laughs> Now, I was just about to come down and get these mushrooms when they turned up. Stream certainly isn't boring. Oh, <laughs> Coratha is back. Hello, mate. How are you? <laughs> yeah, you well? Right, let's get... Well, it did count those boars, even though we've not yet built the hunting lodge, so that's that's good. Hey Trav, the game is great mate. I'm absolutely loving this game. The last time I enjoyed a game this much was Kingdom Come Deliverance. Coratha, feeling fairly well. Feeling oh fairly well, feeling a bit under. I think I have a little bug or something. Nothing a good night's sleep won't cure. Yeah, about the same as me to be honest with you. Right, we need a drink. There's a stream just down here. Let's grab these mushrooms on the way past. Do -do -do 
do 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 Oh, there's a deer there, and I need to eat a couple of those broad leaves. Um, get our health back up. Yeah, she's twitchy, she's ready to run. Let's get in a bit closer, try and get a nice clean headshot. Just like that. Now we need another boar and we need three foxes to do the animal hunting part of a current objective. There's usually foxes running around on this hillside. Oh, you lucky bastard! That went straight under your chin! <laughs> yeah, that woke you up, didn't it, Mr. Rabbit? Where did you go? Way down there. Right. Oh, I see you. Nearly had you. That shortened your whiskers. Not sure where you went. That's a point. Have I got my hunter's what's it yet? I uh, hope we've got a farming knowledge point. Let's um, go for that. I just heard a fox. We've got to get three foxes. Winter's actually the best time to get the foxes. But it's the worst time to try and get the boars. Because I think the boars go hibernate somewhere. This is a really good area for hunting foxes. We need to keep getting these mushrooms to fill up the uh, the food store. third ball went to. There is usually three on this hillside. And if I can get that third ball... Is that him there? If I can get the third ball today, I'm willing to wait until winter for the foxes. You cheeky little bastard. I can hear the foxes, I just can't see them. Without my hunter's sense, it's um, very difficult to know where the animals are. And I need to get a few more points in hunting before I can get that. Where that 
that third ball's gone at all. Thing is, we need meat. We need lots of meat. We need meat flowing out of our eyeballs. Especially with winter coming. There's often deer up here. Need to be careful not charge in and scare them all away. I'm really surprised there's none here. It's not too late in the day. Let's just head down across the other side of that stream that we got a drink at. Because um, again, there's usually a herd of deer across there. see them. They're usually hanging around there somewhere. Is that down there? No. It's just a gorse bush. There they are. They're under the trees. Glitching a bit there, mate. Told you I could hear foxes. That's how you do it in real life. <laughs> what? Blunder, blunder around like a bull in a china shop. <laughs> There's another fox up there. I mean, if I don't have to get the foxes in the winter, that's great. Uh, you're going to be the easier... Sh uh, maybe not. You're actually closer. is if I miss this spear is going to go over that hill and it's going to go ah you saw me and you're spooked as well marvellous not what I was hoping for getting towards sunset I don't want to be out too late I want to get back We've got a long run to get back. Got to keep remembering that my farm is in a different location of in this playthrough. Where are you, dude? I can hear you. You're 
just on the other side of that hill, aren't you? There, you've run off. There you are down there. You're going to be really tricky to get. Ah. Waited too long. Where did my spear go? There it is. Right, time to head back. It's almost sunset. Mushrooms! Mm, fried mushrooms. Yum, 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 yum. Do love fried mushrooms. Especially those big umbrella ones, parasol mushrooms. Yum, yum. Fried in butter with some finely chopped onion and garlic. Mm, 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 mm. And then a nice big juicy rump steak on the side. Basically, you show the steak where the cooker is and then you put it on the plate and serve it. Oozing juice. You know, and this is the bit where I'm picking mushrooms and that third bloody hog turns up. Catches me in the ass while I'm bent over picking mushrooms. Spear away going through town. We're going to have to eat some of these mushrooms before we get home. Is that fully burnt it? No, oh, that's Tamira. Right, let's just head on through, heading for home. a bit, try and get back before full dark. <sighs> yeah, the seasons may be a bit short. Do you feel there's enough time to relax and enjoy? Um, the first year is a bit frantic trying to get everything sorted out and set up. Um, once you get past the first year, it gets a lot easier. Um, and it becomes a much more relaxed pace. Um, part of the problem is that the first year, you've got a lot of building to do. And I'm actually behind on my building in this playthrough because we're past the midpoint of autumn and all I've got is the house, the barn, and the food store. I don't have the resource store down. 
I don't have the Hunter's Lodge down. Um, we'll get a drink before we go in. Um, I don't have the spinnery... Uh, not the spinnery. The, uh, the sewing place down. There's a bunch of different buildings that I should have in place um, before the, the end of the year. Which I don't think I'm going get, to get, get the chance to do. Because I'm going to have to do a run up north. Um, sorry, down south. Not much of a dynasty there. No, not yet. Give it a chance. I've got my wife picked out and she's... Uh, she's starting to respond to the courtship. So, all's good. Right, now let's have a look. How much meat have we got? We've got 18 meat. we got 20 cabbages. Right, I think that's what we'll do. We'll just make it all straight into pottage. Pottage. Ah. Oh. Let's just get a lot of this made. And that should see us through autumn and winter. We'll still hunt meat as much as we can because we need a shitload of meat. Especially once we get the second level hunting lodge because then we can dry it, we can salt it, we can do all sorts with it. Is there a story or is it open-ended survival like Conan? There is a story. Um, it's a little bit more focused and directed than Conan. But at the same time, it's it's more open. Um, because like the, the Castellan of the valley... Um, you know the head honcho in the valley he'll he's the one that controls the, the main story and he'll give you a task to do and you go off and you do it in your own time um, and you come back and you report into him and he gives you a reward and you're then told to wait until he's ready to give you another one and it might be two or three in-game years that pass before he gives you the next task. Which gives you loads of time to do your own stuff. So it's very, very open um, in that respect. We've got a new level of crafting from all that cooking. Right, we need to munch and fast. So if we put all that pottage in there. Put that leather in there. Put that fur in there. Um, I don't think we need to get any more mushrooms. It's other more regular vegetables that we're needing to get now. Um, we'll drop these sticks in here for now. Now, 
I want a very early start in the morning. I want to be... I want to be up to Hornica and out as early in the day as possible. Um, how much money have we got? A thousand. Well, that's enough to get my scythe ready for harvesting that grain um, in the spring the winter wheat and the winter rye so if I can get up to Hornecker and back tomorrow that's that job done and I can spend the winter crafting um, skinning knives and hatchets and all that sort of stuff ready for selling at the spring SA when we go to pay the taxes and we got a skill. And it's a crafting skill. Yee Can't unlock Building Master yet, so... Got to put it in here. Uh, handyman, I think, is going to be the one. Um, yeah, I want Handyman underway because we're going to need to be able to upgrade and downgrade house modules. So we'll stick it in there for now. Right, um, I think we'll get an early night's sleep, then we get an early morning start. Yep, there we go, right, and I'm going to take a bowl of pottage with me. Just the one. Now, I've got to figure out my route from here up to Hornigar. Hold on. Um, oh, it's actually not too bad. Go straight up that road. And then cut across here onto the this road here, which is the road we normally use to get to Hornecker. Um I know, normally I come on that one, don't I? Yeah, because there's the mine. So, if we come up this one, follow it round till we catch on to our normal road, or is it going to be shorter to go via Gustovia? I don't, I'm not sure if it's shorter via Gustovia. It might be faster because we know the route. But I'd like to try this at least once just to to get to know it. Now, any junctions, it's all left turns until we get to this T-junction and turn right onto our normal route. Um, first things first, though, how many spears have we got? Two, four, six. Oh, two of them are at 33%. That's okay. That should be enough to get through wolf country. And it should be enough for us to take down a wissant or two to bring a decent crop of meat back. So, just have a quick look at it. Oh, wait a minute. We've got, got a rabbit. We've got to put a new rabbit trap down, so we'll need to get ten sticks together. Let's just put this meat and stuff in here. Four meat off that rabbit. Wow, he was a big one. Um, right. Ten sticks to put that trap back together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, come on, ten. Oh, crap. 
left, campfire, traps, rabbit trap, okay, spear out, time to start jogging. Mushroom heaven. I'm going to collect these because we can sell them up at Hornaker. They're worth two two coins each. These ones. any wolves on this first leg of the journey because I don't know this area very well at all stay left all the way along this road until we get to that T-junction on the road we regularly use. I love this upland moorland f uh, feel. I mean, this I, I can name parts of Scotland that look exactly like this in the upland areas, in the highlands. left or right here. I think if we go that way we end up at the mine. Uh, yeah, we come into the back of the mine. Come in there. And the mine is here. Um, so we bear left. Then left again. Then left again. So one, two, three lefts and then the next one's a right. Where the bagpipes echo through the land. <laughs> bagpipes don't echo. Bagpipes drone. That's a weird looking rock. I thought it was like a tortoise or something. This is where we turn right. Those few little birch tree, uh, birch saplings there are my marker post. Let's have that mushroom. And those two mushrooms. Like I say, we can sell those. Now, this is where we've got to start being a little bit careful. Should be alright for a wee while here. But I have seen wolves as far south as this bridge. As far north as this bridge, I should say. I get my north and south turned around a lot on this map. It's because of the way it's been designed. It's just... What is the south of the map feels like it should be the north of the map. Right. Never pass a stream without taking a drink. You don't know when you'll find another one. Right. This this bit of the road is usually clear. This is where we come onto the edge of animal territory. Now there's usually deer and wissant down here ahead of us and you usually see them long before you encounter a wolf but there's deer down there running around like crazy um, but I have seen wolves 
on these rocks to my right. Oh, you. There's a Wissant, European Bison. We'll get him on the way back. And if she keeps her head up, we can take her down. This, yeah, I see you. You're chasing deer, aren't you? And I can't get over that fence, it's too high. Oh, I did. Oh, the deer got away. No, it didn't. I hear you. Oh, and you're on top of me. Straight away, of course you are. Oh, go away, Wissant. I'm not chasing you. Oh, crap. Shit, I knew I should have just avoided the Wissant. Bollocks, I ran out of spears. That was the problem. Right. That means we've got to go back to the last load. Uh, the time here now is 0112. There was an auto save at 0101. So I think we'll accept that one. Um, that was the end of autumn. Or the start of autumn, one of the two. Um, yeah, we'll load that one and hope that it hasn't buggered up any of the quests.